Hi there, welcome back to Stupid Baby Toys, where I take toys from my baby son's collection and mock them. Uh, tonight we're going to be taking a look at this guy, which I like to call Strikingly Realistic Dragonfly. This is actually um, made by Lamaze, which apparently is branched out from breeding to toys. Um, you can see this is actually designed to dangle suspended over the baby when it's lying on a, a play mat or a crib. Um, obviously banking on the assumption that the fear of giant insects is something that's acquired rather than innate. Um, you can see it has this uh, yellow head with the green antenna. Uh, the nerds in the audience will notice that the, the colors of the body segments kind of follow the, the rainbow pattern. You have red, orange, yellow in reverse and then having hit red, it skips to the other end of the visible spectrum, which is purple or violet. And um, but then unfortunately skips blue and then goes straight to green. Now the um, blue doesn't really appear naturally in the animal kingdom very often, so <coughs> I think this is an attempt to make it more realistic. Um, let's start with the, or let's go on to the back here, uh, looking at the wings. Now you can see that the, there's four wings, just like a regular old dragonfly. Um, the bottom wings have this kind of zebra pattern, and um, in, in the wild this would be helpful in throwing off predators because it, it would fool the predators into thinking that the dragonfly was actually a zebra. Uh, now the, the problem that would be created with, with that is that while um, a frog or a lizard or a bird obviously wouldn't try to eat a zebra, if you go around looking at it like, like a zebra, then big jungle cats are going to come, out, come after you and eat you. So to sort of counteract that, the other wings, the top wings, have this sort of spotted jaguar pattern to throw off the jungle cats. It's really genius. God himself couldn't have done any better. So flipping around to the front, um, six legs. The um, legs are actually cords tied in knots. So, uh, this wing up here has a, a ladybug on it. Um, you can see a couple of things right off. First of all, the ladybug is, is purple, where it should be black, and the, the head and um, spots there. And also, the, 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 based on the position of the face, the head is swiveled completely around from the way it should be. Um, which is kind of disturbing. Also, all four of these wings are much like the mutant rabbit from last episode, or cat paper, which apparently is the hot new thing in baby toys. Um, this wing also has these kind of weird, malformed, um, polydactyl vestigial wings of all different sorts. Um, this one is this kind of funky pattern, this one is just like a soft felt, and this one is actually corduroy. Um, moving down here, this wing has a couple of abnormalities. There's this kind of um, hostess snowball looking thing here. And there's this thing which is, is colored like a, um, like a one-up mushroom from Super Mario Brothers. Um, but it actually, you know, it looks just like a, it's, you know, it's kind of sticking out of there and it looks just like a, a pockmarked pus-filled boil might look, um, but if you squeeze it, instead of having pus come out, it's just uh, squeaks. You know, cat paper, squeaky toys, very pet toy-esque uh, all around. Uh, moving on to this wing, we have uh, another mirror. Apparently, toy makers think the babies like mirrors, like birds. Game is protesting. Apparently, it does like mirrors. Um, you can look in these two little mirrors and see yourself, and then if you were to imagine maybe kind of splitting the wing in half and peeling the skin back, you can lift this up and see another mirror. Um, so I guess, you know, you can see part of your face this way and then lift this up and see the rest of your face and also see another face kind of screaming back at you. You can imagine these two are eyes and this is a mouth not disturbing at all. And then finally, um, oh, I forgot to mention there's this kind of pull tail thing down here, um, which is, uh, you know, one more thing that the baby will be unable to reach or do anything with because babies have little Tyrannosaurus Rex arms. 
So uh, the final wing down here, uh, I, I mentioned that I thought this was a tattoo. Actually, I don't know if I mentioned that. Okay, I think this is a tattoo of a ladybug as opposed to like a real ladybug that's acting like a lamprey um, on a shark. And the reason for that is this wing has this little pocket on it, like a kind of a marsupial, and inside the pocket is a ladybug. You can see this plastic, flat, two-dimensional ladybug thing. Um, this has a little bit better in that there's no mouth here, so you can imagine that the eyes are actually kind of just pointing forward and the head is not, you know, swiveled around. Um, Unfortunately, on the flip side of the ladybug, you have what would normally be the belly and legs, but instead they have the sort of Mandalorian, Boba Fett type logo and another set of eyes. So, four eyes on the ladybug, one on each side of the head. Not very accurate. Um, you can also see that this, you know, if you have the thing hanging out, you have the tail hanging and the ladybug hanging, and I, I just like to imagine that the people who designed this dragonfly, after they got done with all their drugs and finished the first three wings, they were looking at the third wing, fourth wing, and, and thinking, you know, with the tattooed ladybug and the boil and the snowball and the screaming mirror, like it's still missing something. Why don't we make it a marsupial with a baby ladybug with uh, an extra set of eyes? that also hangs down for an additional thing that the baby will not be able to reach. So, the thing is, if you know anything about dragonflies, you'll know that the, the, the wings are extremely delicate and they're, the, the aerodynamics of a dragonfly depend heavily on the wings being just, just so and, and not having any kind of crap on them and just being really thin and um, being able to flap really quickly and you know with all this garbage hanging off of it there's there's just no way so uh, another thing I'm gonna have to teach my son is aerodynamics despite the best efforts of the Lamaze company and their stuffed dragonfly so there's that this has been another episode of stupid baby toys and please tune in next time and hopefully we'll move away from the stupid stuffed animals